Good evening. We celebrate Caledonia's football state championship in just a little bit. But we start off with a team hoping to do a little celebrating of their own come March 18th. Season home opener for the Central Boys basketball team as they face Eau Claire North. Badgers commit. Kobe King had it rolling early. Turnaround jumper right there. They start on a 12-0 run. Then in transition, King from deep. 22 points in the half. Finishes the game with 26. Also dishing out assists. Check it out. Adam Haberman for three. Red Raiders up 58-31 at the break. Then in the second half, Bailey Kale with the drive. Gets the circus lay in to go. He adds in 15. Impressive display put in front of the home fans. An 89-54 victory. It's big for us to always come out and uh, defend our home court. I mean, we've been waiting to get a home court game all year. I know it's a short season, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big win for us. And I mean, we got a lot to learn from it, but I'm proud of the boys. And we played hard, we battled, and I mean, got, got a good win. Tonight is Logan's season opener hosting D.C. Everest. First half, Rangers' Matt Escher, nice cut, finishes with the lay-in, and they lead 27-21. Later on, Jackson Hamilton going to miss, but look at the tip-in by the freshman, Terrence Thompson. Rangers also get 23 from C.J. Siegel, and they win 85-61. Luther returns a lot of minutes from last year's team. Season opener tonight for them against Lewiston Altura. First half. John Weirs dribbles off a screen. He gets left alone and calmly knocks down the triple. Early advantage, Knights. The press was a problem for Lewiston Altura. Luther getting the trap and steal. Sam Babinick takes it inside and banks in the teardrop. Babinick, Weirs, and Ben Kennedy all with 16. Luther, 88-63 winner. Great girls matchup. Cole Cooley champ from a year ago, West Salem, versus a state qualifier from a year ago, on Alaska. First half, Abby Niemeyer in transition. She stops and hits the short jumper, pulls the Panthers to within eight. Later in the half, freshman Lexi Miller with two seconds left in the half, completes the and one, 33-22 Hilltoppers at the half, 16 points for her. On Alaska picking up where they left off in the first half, Emma Gamoki finishes the easy layup, extending the lead to 16. Later in the half, Gamoki again, this time from downtown, Anna up 48-32, and On Alaska picks up a 62-49 win. Holman looks to start the season 3-1 and one at home tonight against Chippewa Falls. We start off in the first half. Brooklyn Paulson knocks down the triple. Holman up 3-0 early on. Paulson a 22-point night. Later in the half, Kendra Lees gets the ball down low, loses it, gets it right back, and scores. Holman with a nice 54-48 victory. A three-river showdown as La Crescent hosts Caledonia. Caledonia, they push the pace early on. Adriana Reinhardt ahead to Amber Conniff. She pulls up and hits the three. Warriors quickly up 7-0. Lancers trying to keep up. Harley Furlong slips it inside to Jada Reeder for the basket. Perfect execution on the pick and roll. Warriors on the run again. Ashley Schrader passes it back to the trailer. Katie Tornstrom, nothing but net on the trifecta as they go up 10. And Cal wins 68-32. More sports ahead, including Viterbo playing in a number one versus number two showdown at the NAIA National Championships. Welcome back. Viterbo Volleyball begins the day four wins away from an NAIA National Championship. Their likely toughest matchup the rest of the way occurring right away in the round of 16. Number two in the nation, Viterbo taking on number one ranked Westmont. Single elimination from here on out. Set number one, Natalie Guidel registers the first V-Hawks kill of the match. Hard fought set, Westmont wins 25-22 after the Taylor Beckman kill. So just like Wednesday, V-Hawks, they got to play from behind today. Westmont. Also wins the second set, 25-10. So Viterbo really needing a rally in the third. They get it. Sierra Scow kill puts them up 18-16. Then Emily Weirsma lands a kill, 20-16 advantage. Now 24-22 set point for the V-Hawks. It appears Weirsma gets another kill, but official calls her in the net. There goes the momentum. Westmont's Libby Dahlberg finishes the Warriors rally. They win 26-24. The first Viterbo loss since August 19 ends their season 3-0 the final. We were right there. We, we, had, we, we had a great spring to win in, and we put a great spring on the ball, and, and uh, you know, the call just didn't go our way, and then they, they obviously snuck it out. So uh, I was happy after that second set how we just played so poorly and let that, you know, to come back on that third set. Uh, you know, it just shows the character that our, our, of our girls and the never-quit attitude. Winona State also with their hands full in the second round of the NCAA Division II National Tourney. They fall to top seed Concordia St. Paul.
News 8 celebrates the 2016 state football champion Caledonia Warriors. Sponsored by Smooth Toe and VO2 FX. Power your legs to the max. Thank you for joining us. This Caledonia football program is celebrating its seventh state championship since 2007. The Warriors have become the pinnacle of high school football in Minnesota. Each of these teams have a different story, but the one constant is a coaching staff that knows what it takes to win and the players who buy into their message. And that's the biggest thing that I got to thank my coaches for, that they're always pushing us. They always want us to strive to get better. We really brought the heat as a coaching staff and uh, they handled it really well. Handled it like men, and they knew what we were trying to get through to them. Caledonia, for the second straight season, ran the table versus their 14 opponents, and once again did it in remarkable fashion. The Warriors' average margin of victory was 36 points. Opponents were held to 14 points or less in all but three of their games. The skill position players were really something special. Senior Ben McCabe ran for 1,667 yards and 26 touchdowns. Quarterback Owen King followed up his 40 touchdowns thrown as a sophomore with 48 touchdown tosses his junior season, along with only four interceptions. Andrew Gorgon, his favorite target, with over 1,400 yards and 25 touchdowns. The top three receivers in yardage, along with King, all set to return for 2017. This program now has eight state titles, two state runner-up finishes. In fact, it was a state championship loss back in 2005 that spurred this run of success for Caledonia. With more, here is News 8's Charlie Clifford. This scene does not sit well with Caledonia fans. 2005, an unknown team out of the southeast corner of Minnesota, back in the state finals for the first time since 1976. A future NFLer, Carl Klug, and a football program on the doorstep of a dynasty. This day, though, belonged to Eden Valley Watkins, 21-16. Fast forward to 2016. The only thing standing in the way of head coach Carl Fricke in a seventh state title ring? Eden Valley Watkins. You know, we played him in 05. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Leading up to last Saturday, the Warriors coaching staff knew that this team needed something. In a players only meeting, a call came in the message it's time for revenge. Carl and Kevin Klug actually FaceTimed us, and they were the seniors that year that they lost, so then they gave us some words and kind of lit a fire underneath our butts. They said that they always think about it to this day. That was definitely a motivational call from the Klugs. They uh, told us to go get them one, go avenge them. The boys listen, and if you didn't check your phone until halftime, that wasn't a typo. 40 to nothing Cal after two quarters. Afterwards on the bus ride home, they got a number of calls. Guys that had all been on that team, and it was pretty special to them that we were able to get, get the victory. To know that they're actually still thinking about us and knowing and following us, it was just great. As the clock ticked down at U.S. Bank Stadium, the text and calls between the 2005 team started back up. 61-12, to Caledonia over Eden Valley Watkins, mission complete. Reporting on the Warriors' latest big win, Charlie Clifford, News 8 Sports. Thank you, Charlie. When News 8 celebrates returns, he was the leader on this Caledonia team both on and off the field. That story coming up next. Welcome back. Senior Ezekiel Ott represents more than just the 14 sacks he registered this past season. He defines Caledonia football. Work hard, buy in, and good things will come. Well, it's extremely humbling even to be compared to that caliber of an athlete. Ezekiel Ott will leave Caledonia High School on a short list that includes Carl Klug as major Warriors difference makers on the defensive side of the football. When they reach out to you and tell you, you know, congratulations, you played a great game and it was awesome to watch and it's really humbling when someone compliments the way you play. Hard worker is a way Ott is described by those closest around him. This is exactly what we expected out of Zeke. He attacked his rehab this past offseason after a major season ending knee injury and reap the rewards last week at U.S. Bank Stadium. Felt great. It's awesome to play in the Viking Stadium, you know, be out there on such a huge venue and uh, just, and then perform to be able, you know, to have those games and play good. Odd understands those kind of team accomplishments on the football field 
go way beyond the standout athlete or even the guys who play on game day. When you come from such a small school, you got to get every person to buy into the program, each down to the player who's just going to play on Mondays and Tuesdays and practice as hard as he can to make everybody else better and push the starters. Zeke is going to miss Friday nights with the Warriors. And you feel a little empty inside, you know, knowing you're never going to play under Carl ever again or you're not going to play with the people standing next to you. And the Warriors will miss Zeke. What I like about our relationship is it's mature and we agree to disagree on things and that we can talk about those things and have a man talk and that's really special to me. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's more than just football. Odd has verbally committed to play for a North Dakota program that tomorrow plays in the second round of the FCS playoffs. Thank you for watching this News 8 Celebrate special feature. Congratulations to the Caledonia Warriors.